Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Star Agent Starco Gaming is back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Guys, today we're going to talk about the best team in Alliant Conquest. But before we get to that, guys, quick reminder, make sure to check the description below the, below the video uh, for the links to our current giveaway. Always have tons of them going on, guys. At least a couple. Uh, and guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel because you cannot win a giveaway if you're not subscribed. And make sure you like this content, guys, uh, to help support the channel and help us bring more uh, cool stuff like giveaway to you guys. So, best team in Alliance Conquest, guys. A lot of you know that I don't actually PvP much in Marvel Future Fight. But that doesn't mean that I don't do researches and I do not know people in top PvP alliances like... Um, people in hero invasions you know those kind of alliance I got contact pretty much everywhere so I'm always up to date up to date with what's going on in every single game mode guys so what we're gonna do here guys we're gonna talk about the five top teams to put together obviously guys if you put different characters you know with drill in there it's totally fine it's not you know a perfect science it also depends on all your building characters this is actually pretty much what's optimal so we're going to talk about the top five team what custom gear they should have on them too and then we're going to talk about the perfect physical reflect team and the perfect energy reflect team with what custom gear you should have on them too uh, there's no specific order in those team guys they all all pretty damn amazing team so the first thing we're going to talk about strife first you want to put strife for the debuff removal and also because uh, with that immunity to guard break which we're going to cover in the custom gear soon uh, he is a killing machine man he is a damn killing machine so strife with well as lead for his debuff removal mainly but also for his assistant as a team then you have tier 3 Deadpool obviously he's amazing and plus he has a new uniform coming his way uh, next week so it's going to be even more amazing there and then we have Quicksilver Quicksilver is just amazing it will snare do so much damage it will pierce to anything his damage is just ridiculous guys this is the number one team and it's actually the best actual team in the game if you look at you know like for example dream and alliance tournament this is most of the time the team they use sometimes they will replace either deadpool with tier 3 uh, captain marvel or quicksilver with tier 3 captain marvel but other than that it's pretty much the standard for alliance tournament team number two we have jangri again like stripe she can hold her on uh, by herself but mainly for the debuff removal and some crazy damage along the way too then we have Thanos. Thanos is actually a PvP god. And a lot of people are like, Thanos ain't that good, man. Thanos ain't that good. He's easy to kill. That's because you're facing people that don't know how to build Thanos. A really well-focused build on PvP for Thanos makes Thanos pretty much unkillable. Uh, the same way with the third member of this team in Team 2, it is Carvis Glaive. Carvis Glaive, with the immunity to Garbrain going into, into those iframe non-stop, is a goddamn killing machine i've seen in timeline guys a video a guy that made on facebook group that he has a scarvis glaive down to one person hp and it took out captain marvel jane gray and uh deadpool that those were the three characters it took out with one person hp on autoplay guys it's ridiculous what carvis glaive can actually do in pp is really underrated because not many people use him, but he is amazing. Uh, team number three, guys, we have the ultimate team. Anti-Man, Blue Marvel, and Nova. They are eventual that, you know, uh, we had them like, a, they, got, they got released over a year and a half ago. They are still amazing. Those channeling ability, those iframe, uh, in your uh, iframe too, will cancel your iframe. Um, the other team iframe this is just amazing and the damage from those guys it's ridiculous guys plus the uh, area effect damage they can pop in the room uh, pretty much guaranteed you win if they are built properly it's amazing uh, team number four guys 
Team number four, we got Dr. Doom for debuff removal. Um, and is amazing as a PvP too. He's pretty much a main focus PvP character. Yes, he's amazing in Alliance Battle Extreme 2, but if you build him for PvP, he is crazy. Then with Dr. Doom, you put Captain Marvel. And like everybody knows, tier 2 Captain Marvel is just uh, completely nuts, like a like the actress that actually play her in the MCU uh, and you put Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Fantastic at tier 3 is a goddamn PvP monster guys if he's built for PvP so Doom, Captain Marvel, and Mr. Fantastic actually create a crazy mother ducker team a crazy mother ducker team guys this is amazing and the team number five guys that's actually a team that people are saying Ew, what the hell is that team but that team if the other team does not have debuff removal is pretty much one of the strongest possible team you can have which is lead arachnide so uh, you have debuff reduction time spider-man and tor you know you get your webbing going and you get tor that pop his fifth skills at tier 3 it's like Bye bye, let's move to the next team. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So, those are my five top teams for uh, Alliance Conquest. Now, let's move to what is the best CTP on those guys. We have a few exceptions in those 15 guys, but let's go general uh, first, guys. General, uh, the best CTP on them is CTP of Regeneration. You have a Mewtwo to Guard Break on it and a bunch of crazy stats. It's just ridiculous. Max HP, uh, recovery rate, uh, healing. I mean, it's just that CTP is now the number one CTP for PvP. It's crazy, but it's hard to get, guys. It is very hard to get. So, we're gonna cover the second one. We have CTP of Authority, guys. Uh, CTP of Authority used to be the top uh, custom gear for PvP before Regeneration was released, but it's still a goddamn amazing CTP to use guys and if you do not have any of those CTP because you know they're hard to get it's expensive to get well you can always 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 go with immunity to guard break plus invincibility a uh, regular custom gear there it will get the job done you know unless you are facing a team like uh, dream uh, or hero invasion or you know those crazy top five contender in online conquest um, running with immunity to guard break with invincibility is going to get it's going to get the job done for sure. We have three exceptions though in those top 15. We have exception for Spider-Man, Jen Grey, and Quicksilver. For those three characters, what is the best for them is actually CTP of Destruction. CTP of Destruction is going to be amazing on them. Like Quicksilver, when it peers through and get the props from the CTP of Destruction, it's like, hey, See ya in another, another time, man. You're dead. The whole team is dead. Same thing with Jane Grey. If she pop the fifth skills and she go with the fourth skill, it's like, oh my god, there's nothing standing left. In Spider-Man, it's just so much damage. And if you get that props on that fifth skill or fourth skill or the tier three skill, it's like, it's crazy damage. And since they are mostly an iframe, uh, those heroes, when they do their big skill, and they already have uh, immunity to guard break with the CTP of destruction. Uh, well, damage boost is actually the best for them. So, guys, that covers my top five teams. Next, we're gonna cover the best physical reflect team and the best energy reflect team. So, the best physical reflect team is Colossus Lead. His lead is just amazing for the reflect. Then you have Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. If you face a full physical team that doesn't have too many iframes you put that and you have them built from properly it's gonna be like haha you all kill yourself bitches so that's pretty much what it's gonna be uh, that's for the physical team if we go for the energy team guys you want destroyer lead with Emma Frost and invisible woman yep invisible woman is actually amazing there and there again if they don't have too much iframe and um, that reflect is just going to pretty much they're going to kill themselves with it it's it's ridiculous but also to actually be able to play those physical and energy reflect teams you need proper build which what's important um with reflecting guys it's a ton of hp and a ton of healing so 
what's better for that? We have two CTP here. The first one is CTP of regeneration. Again, so basically CTP of regeneration is like the best for like 99% of the character in the game mostly. Uh, but like I said uh, when we were covering uh, uh, earlier the top 5 team, it is so hard to get that uh, most people won't have it. So the next CTP after that for those reflecting CTP of refinement guys. You're gonna have that crazy max HP. Uh, you're gonna have that crazy healing and the guard hits. It's just a lot, a lot, a lot. And that will increase the survivability of those characters, the reflect characters, so much. It is crazy. Then, you know, for people who cannot afford the CTP or uh, have no luck on getting them and you know all the blah blah, uh, well, you have max HP gear with invincibility. Now, the perfect uh, regular custom gear will actually be max HP with recovery rate and invincibility. That will be, you know, the dream wall. But if you don't go with the dream wall and you go what you can easily create, it will be a max HP uh, with invincibility obelisk, guys. This is what's going to be the best for uh, people who don't have this CTP. So, guys, that's pretty much to cover the best team for Alliant Conquest guys if you have any feedback if you disagree with some stuff I said and or if you have other option you'd like to share uh, in the in the comment section below the video feel free to write it down guys again in the comment section so we can talk about it and uh, you know maybe in other videos we're gonna cover more teams because I want to start doing more PvP content on the channel too as it was requested by some people on the net marble farms for a marble future fight so uh, again guys make sure you check the description below the video for the giveaways don't forget to subscribe to the channel or you won't get any uh, winning prize and make sure to like this content guys uh, to help support the channel and on that guys star agent star Cold gaming is out